Greetings and welcome, everyone. It's All I Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 577. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinside. Yo. And Tony Korkanakis. Hello. Just forgot this fun end of the year. Ooh. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. There we go. Clearance in Walmart. Week. Yeah, let me just get that. That is... Right there. that is a hat. Can I say this? But it's one of the most rednecky Christmas hats I've ever seen. <laughs> it was so crazy. I'm like, it's four dollars. I'm like, I gotta pick this up. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Any guys, welcome to 577 of the Movie Cast. I uh, hope you had a great holiday. Um, New Year's is still coming around the corner. I uh, hope you're gonna have a nice, safe New Year's as well. Um, but welcome to this episode. This is the last one of 2021. Uh, last movie cast. So oh, bullshit. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's not much news because <laughs> it's the end of the year. But we did have what we've been up to to talk about quite it's a bit. It's okay. And, I, need, uh, I need some time to talk shit on what I've been up to. I need okay. some time. Okay. I watched. I finished that my second half of that right before this podcast. Of what? Yeah. Ooh, a little you mini like? bonus round here, guys. There is you no. Watch? Yeah. Who cares? Who cares? We'll Matrix... just. There's no reason that Matrix Resurrection should exist. No. Tony, you saw The Matrix? Yeah, I watched it yesterday. You watched it? Oh, we we yeah. did not warn him, Jim. We didn't yeah, warn I'm him. Yeah, I'm mad at you guys I... for not warning me. Like, this Whoa. was bad. This was bad. Uh, hmm. I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I posted how bad it was. I literally posted in our chat how bad this movie was. You didn't? You were <laughs> what, what did bad. you say? Yes. What did you say? So, uh, go back. Um, I wrote... Uh, well, we gotta go back here. Doing it live, live. Guys. Well, that's appropriate for this movie. But it has so some good things and cool stuff, but just no direction. I wrote, I wrote, The Matrix is bad. You said, no way. And I said, newsflash, I'm shocked. It has some good things and cool stuff, but just no yeah. direction. This is worse than what you said, Jim. This is worse than just bad. This is like... So, to me, this is at the same level as the second two movies. No, um, it's worse. Yeah, I would it's worse. It's worse. No, I it think it's slightly weird. better than the no, third movie. No, I think it's no, no. Yeah, I'm, I don't no, know. It depends. No. But the thing is this. The, the disconnect I have is imagine, if you will, a movie where it seems like the prime objective, at least in the first half of the movie, is it's to make fun of you for caring about it. They make a joke. They make the fun of you for caring about it or being nostalgic or anything. No. And then the second part is just to do it anyway. They make a joke <laughs> about the fact that Warner Brothers is forcing them to make a game. I'm sorry if I'm I, I don't want to. I'm not spoiling this for anybody. I'm keeping it vague. But they make a joke about that in the beginning of the movie and how they're forcing them to do something. Warner Brothers directly mentioned their name that they're making them do something. And I'm just like, is this? Are they looking at? Are they going to look at the camera after saying that right now? Because I'm like, that's what I felt the, like. The, the meta commentary is just too much. It's too much in this. And but it's also funny. Imagine the original matrix in 1999 being a video game and looking like that. It's impressive. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Dude. Like, um, I'm, bad not, movie. I'm bad not movie. sure. Like it is really bad. There, like this is shit. This is going to easily be also, my worst. Is, I have some spoilers guys. Cause it's been out. It's on HBO. People can see it uh, for free. If they have a subscription, don't um, see it. Don't we're not, we are not doing, we're not doing a spoiler cast for this. It doesn't deserve it. So I'm fine. We yeah, we'll, we need we'll, we'll do spoilers now though. Yeah, let's Whatever. do spoilers now because there's some things you need to, to mention in here that are spoilers for this. Go ahead, for people. Corey. Well, Corey, well also express the feelings that we have, I believe. Yes. And because like halfway through this movie, Jim, I leaned over to you and said, <laughs> "Why are why do you know why they're trying to save Neo?" <laughs> and so my my reaction was this, and I'm like, I'm in the movie theater. I'm like, I was I thought maybe I was the only one. Like I don't. I don't know what's going on. Listen, I uh, I stopped. I I watched it in two parts. I'm even more confused about the reason for things and why they happen. Why, why but... does this movie exist? Is my question. Like, no, I don't. I, it, it exists because they said so. They had to make it or whatever money. Grab. But they didn't have to make it. They but didn't the thing have is, to like, make it. The point. The story for this movie was was so confusing because after three, everything was fine. People moved on. The there, machines had their side of the world. The humans oh no, had their but, side of the world. And there was a yeah. whole section of this movie which literally explains, like, yes, things did change. Things aren't just completely cyclical. Good things happened because of that. I can't really tell that other than what a certain character said, but she said it. It must have happened. 
I yeah, guess. Good question, Mike, who just finished this, and and I, I don't want to. So, where are the people? Because who? she, because now, uh, what was her name? Um, Niobe. Niobe <laughs> has given up freeing people from the Matrix, but literally every single character we see at that city has a plug, which means they were unplugged from the Matrix. So what? what I don't understand, and it's it's kind of what I didn't understand from the the third movie is like how do they determine that someone wants out? And allow them to do so. But they weren't even trying. So where did all those people come from? Oh, clearly they did. Some of them did. I, that was kind of the whole newly brokered deal that Neo Sacrifice was supposed to make, or some shit. <laughs> I just mm. I, I'm I'm so offended on like a molecular level. I'm saying molecular level, even though it has no basis in reality. But a molecular level. Are you are you offended movie, as a gamer? I, I'm offended on all aspects, like from being a Matrix fan, from being a gamer, from being a movie enthusiast. Like the first half of this movie is insulting in so many ways. Like the very opening sequence, like, oh, let's do that scene with Trinity from the original movie. It's like, okay, like if you want to just, why are we doing this? I don't know. But like, it, it just reeked of like low hanging fan service. Like, hey guys, remember Matrix? Remember this part? This is so but cool. Again, but again, but again. What makes this weird, though, is that. to is to do that, but also simultaneously saying, it is stupid that you want me to do this. Yeah. It is lame and dumb, and it's retarded. <laughs> That's the problem. It's just yeah. dumb. No, it, it, and let's, it let's do it anyway. It's so, so dumb. And I was like, okay. But then the first well, This is a perfect like... example. This is a perfect example of how you use, like, the nostalgia to make try to make your movie better. Like, this is where it's like, hey, guys, remember when we were good? Remember when you liked this stuff? And, then we'll, and you know what? We're even going to pull scenes... From the original film, we're not even going to say a lot. We're going to pull them directly and just going to show them all over the place. But what is funny about that too is you also have characters and they're being stupid, saying what is like, "Oh, I can't wait to see that," or "Remember that we got to do." Like, I don't. It's like insulting the fans while giving them what they want at the same time. What they think they want. It's just like it's just like, "Oh, you were so stupid for wanting this again. Let's just do it again." (laughs) <laughs> but like the like even aside from all that, just the fact that the first hour of this movie is literally like two thirds of Matrix is like like get Neo get Neo out. It's like save Neo. It's like why why do I want to relive this again? Like, but what makes that funny too is once he's out, once he gets to the real world again, it's just like you're not the one. You're you're not you're, you're nothing. It's like people are still saying this at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. people who actually knew you too back then. It's just so like weird. we have to we do, do this again. So offensive, and yeah. like everything they do, it's like, oh, how can we? What can we do to um, Keanu Reeves? Uh, let's make him a game developer. Oh, he won the Game Awards. That's cool. That just doesn't feel <laughs> weird coming off the Game Awards, where you know we had a, a large presence at the very end of it, just like fucking Jeff Keighley to fucking show himself in this. Anyway, just it, it's like, oh, he's a game developer, and Matrix was just a video game. It's like. Really? Like, you couldn't think of anything else. Not to mention, it was insulting, and then, like, they're like, oh, it's an MMO. The players, the blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Matrix had, like, if you're just going to say an MMO, like, say the Matrix MMO, because you had a fucking MMO. Don't try to be like, the original Matrix was an MMO. There's, like, four characters. Like, you can't make an MMO on four characters. It was just, oh, my God. Like, I I got mad watching this movie. I had a question about the... I mean, obviously, it's a movie that's based on fiction, but the the consistency of the movie, where Neo couldn't move with the analyst, but which we established as a pretty powerful guy, but then Tr- Trinity had no problem moving. Why didn't he just use the slow thing? Well, again? Trinity could I fly know. first too. I, yeah, but what, it doesn't matter. I don't care about that. Like, I actually didn't mind those two as the ending. Like, I liked that part, but I actually liked that. This, I will give you one thing I liked about that movie was the ending there. But I didn't like the consistency of the fact that why didn't he just do that little trick he did with Neo there just stop them both? Like, he didn't seem to do any of that anymore. Like, did they level up too did, much too fast? Did he know? did he need his cat or something? I remember him looking oh, for his cat. Oh, his cat named Deja Vu? <laughs> like, wow. Man, you really hit the nose on that one. And it, like... so it's confusing, too, because obviously there's replacement actors for a lot of the same programs or whatever. They should not have done that. Um, they should not have done that. It's so, so no. I, and I really think it hurts the most with Smith. If that was Hugo Weaving, obviously he doesn't want to do anything ever again that he used to do. 
because he's a, I don't know, he's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> but I think that would have been much better. Like uh, we talk about, you know, gratuitous, like you know, but throwbacks. But there? it, it would have been more impactful. I don't know what his, I don't know what his reasoning was, but how, it would have meant more if exist? it was him. How did he exist? The, yeah, man, him and, the, and it him. took me forever to recognize the Merovingian and yelling stuff I could not understand with his accent as a homeless a guy. Mess of a movie. I'd probably give it. I I I give it a four. I, out of the movie theater, I'm like, I'm gonna <laughs> give that. I was at a four five five, and I'm like, I, but I could see the four, and I'm like, now I give it a four. I understand the critic four ratings. I get it. I give it a four. So some of the action was good, and some of the nostalgia was okay. Yeah, well, Tony, what were you saying? Tony. You're muted, Tony. Sorry, I don't like any of this movie. I don't even think any of the fight <laughs> scenes justified its, its no existence. Score. No, three. Yeah, like three. Because it was I'm at, at least four, but I could see a three. I'm not going to argue with you because I do agree. I could completely. Like see this was a fucking steaming pile of dog shit. And anybody involved in this should honestly feel bad. I'm sorry. Like, I know you guys worked hard on this. I know it was a COVID production or whatever, but like, somebody should have been like, this sucks. Let's redo this because it, it, it's offensive. So, and it, it deserves to fail. It deserves to fail. And I hope yeah, Matrix right. dies because of this. Okay. All right. Man, well, it's I mean, been I'm dead. There with, I, I, got my, I got a five, I think I mentioned, but I, I, do... I would be interested going forward. I kind of wish the whole movie happened in the first half and then we could actually move forward to new stuff after that a little bit. Yeah. Once, well, no. once yeah, Trinity is uh, out and we have the two with them. Everyone was kind of, um, kind of just not really, it, all the actors did not really seem to be invested in this movie, unfortunately. No, they also just, it was literally Matrix scene for scene, and even the ending was the Matrix, the original Matrix. Yeah, I mean, the same just, way. yeah. No, I know, and they play the music again, Rage Like Me. I don't know if it was a Rage Against the Machine cover song or the same was, thing. I don't know what yeah, it was, but it was bring it very back. much like that. But I did like, um, I do, I did like the idea of the Trinity and uh, Neo connection. I, mm-hmm. I thought that was good, and that was the only thing that they, felt they a little cheesy, through. honestly. <laughs> no, but I, I, mean, liked, I, liked, really I didn't like that thing. Too, it, it was a new thing. I understand it was no, new. Not, it was the new. I... Like I was gonna say, this is the only thing that they really took from the movies, the the old movies, that made sense to bring in here. Because there's no reason to like try to hash, like make us remember these other ones. Because like all you're doing is making us remember how good that one was and how bad everything else after was. That's all it really yeah. did. Except I did like the fact that like. The, the connection between Neo and Trinity, I thought it was cool that they did the little flip on it. I, I did like that aspect. Uh, because, yeah, it was like he says in the movies, like, oh, it was first that she was the one that had to believe in me, and now I got to believe in her. I think that they they didn't really, it didn't pan out the way it, they could have, like, made it work better. I, I think that the idea was really good, though. But mm-hmm. it didn't pan out as well as it could have. It didn't pan out at all. Like, <laughs> uh, like sure, I, I'm sure a competent writer could have actually made this a decent thing, but the fact that they were like, "Hmm, out of the original trilogy, what should we, f- what should we center the reboot, like this, this fourth movie on?" Oh, I get it. This love angle where the characters don't have any good chemistry together at all. But yeah, let's go for that. And I'm sorry, like, who gives a shit? Like, 15 years after the fact, or however many years it's been since um, Reloaded, or what, what, what's the third one? Revolution. Revolution. Revolutions. Revelation. Whatever the fuck it is. Revolutions. Like, like. Who's pining? Who's like, oh man, like, what if, what if Neo and Trinity got brought back to life by the machines, and had to live connected to the Matrix again, but were destined to not be together? Like, wouldn't that be cool? Like, no, no, it wouldn't be fucking cool. That's stupid as shit. Why would I want to waste my time watching that? <laughs> that it just smells like that, fucking that, bad fan fiction. Well, that was the most interesting thing, because everything else was the same shit. That was the only new wrinkle, even though, again, I felt it was a little cheesy. But Like, on paper, yeah. Okay, it's like, hey, the machines brought back Neo uh, against his will. Oh, that is interesting. Like, okay. But, like, to center the entire movie around this, and it's like, why? Like, okay, so what has changed since the last time? Like, things are still shit, and uh, machines are bad. And um, Neo no, but no, 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 no. There's Honestly, there's good like, machines is, now, and things are yeah, say, pretty like, good actually, according the to Niobe. Thing like with Io, I was like so confused with was because they were fine, they were happy, everybody was. Good oh, what there. like a dozen people there? Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean that's what I'm I mean. It's supposed to be a city, but we see like, else. we see like a dozen people. 
but it's supposed to be and Zelda. Like you mentioned earlier, we didn't see any actual real people. We just saw Matrix pod people. We didn't actually see like yeah. naturally. And we saw like two good people. machines, but apparently there's an army of them. Like, no, it, it's fucking terrible. It's terrible. But, um, yeah, Anybody involved Matrix, in this movie uh, should feel terrible. <laughs> Resurrections. No, yeah. Matrix rejected. Fuck this movie. Fuck this franchise. Let it die. I mean, yeah. after it's all again, set up for more now. It is. Although, like, again, no. Supposedly, again, the... supposedly, Warner Brothers is dedicated to another Matrix Five, to a new. Mm. An, they're going Matrix to do movie. it. They're going to do it. Yeah, they're going to do and it. And apparently, and that's why be... Lana. I think it was Lana, right? Lana. Uh, what? what oh, yeah, that's the why saw, she came yeah. back because they were going to do it with or without her. So she's like, all right, I guess I'll do this, and that's why it was that meta joke that was so fucking funny to see in a fucking Matrix movie. Like, oh man, you know, wow. they totally trolled you with the after credits scene, cat videos. Oh god, I the forgot about that. Sequences. I forgot about that. I mean, we didn't talk was... about the other. You could have fast forwarded it... through that. We no, I did. I did. I'm just saying I forgot I know, I because that's how bad it was. Once, once that like gaming developer boardroom like stuff, like all of that was so cringy. Yeah. It was it was rough. It's just like, oh, I guess I shouldn't be watching this. They're making me feel like an idiot for watching this. Cool. Well, did anybody watch anything good this week? Uh, no. Oh, that was it. I mean, I watched I watched The Wheel of Time, and I would not qualify that as as good. So. Obviously, we all watched the uh, last episode of All Hawkeye right after uh, last yeah, week's podcast. Yeah, that was good. That was good. And yeah, yeah. I mean. Like the wheel of time is guess. just the, the wheel of time is just so disappointing because despite I'm gonna make this statement with a disclaimer what despite the last season the last two seasons of Game of Thrones the sh- that series proved what could happen if you just follow the book guideline and make a series out of a show and how great how great it would be we talked about how great that series was remember when the when they were following that that script how great it was you have something here. And you have basically taken it and shredded it and just taken what characters you had and you wrote your own story. And I'm like, why are you doing this? Why? No, I think, I mean, there are, there are reasons, unfortunately, for, you know, adaptions that need to have changes to them. I get it. And I, There's certain okay. things don't work from a book like, to a TV. George R. R. Martin's, but... like, he's, he's wrote his books, like, literally, so they could become TV shows or movies. And uh, they, the, most famous authors don't do that. And I think that's why it works so well. But with Brandon Stegers, not Brandon, um, uh, Robert Jordan, Robert Jordan, time, it just you couldn't do it because he just takes so long to get to. I like, understand that, but I'm not saying to be long-winded like him. But you could have worked with Sanderson, had him work with this this show. He didn't work on it at all. Well, he read all the scripts and he did ask for changes. Yeah, he did uh, ask, and they didn't, and they didn't do that. Yeah. yeah, but um, so but yeah, like a lot of changes were made and. The thing that gets me, and I don't mind, like I, like I said, I mentioned before, you just think of this as a totally different universe. Like, that's how you got to look at it. But it just feels so small. Like the show, yeah, like, it doesn't it feel grand. Feels, it doesn't small. feel epic. It doesn't feel epic. Like if, so. when they're Tarvalin, it's small. Like yeah. when they go into the Blight area, everything's small. It's like what? I don't know. It's not yeah. a high budget. It feels like, but unfortunately, yeah. all that. I'm trying to think of anything else really of note. I Can don't you really believe it's only been two add. years since Game of Thrones ended? Ugh. I just don't remember that show already. It feels like five. Just block it out. Um, and so watching, like, I w- did go back and watch some um, reaction videos of, like, <laughs> certain, like, events. <laughs> yeah. So, There's yeah. so much fun to watch. Yeah. Red Wedding. Yeah. Yep, Red uh, Wedding was great. Even, like, um, uh, Arya's, you know, revenge sequences were really fun. Yeah. Watching this. Um, all right. Let's, let's get into some news. We have some news, actually. Uh, Batman. Uh, let's see, Michael Keaton, that is, Batman, officially cast, officially cast for Batgirl, coming to HBO Max. Well, this one's not going to the theaters, huh? Uh, nope, coming up, uh, coming, well, as of right now, but whoa, remember whoa, last hold week up. You're not going to do the box office? Oh, yeah, the box office. Oh, my gosh. I had it open on my, my screen, oh, too, and I completely just... For, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home at number one in the box office again. 84 Wait, and a half million last week. What happened? <laughs> the Matrix in a lowly third. Sing 2 beat it. <laughs> Sing Two beat it. Not 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 no knock on Sing Two. I'm sorry if you were a big Sing Two fan. Uh, 22 million that did, but this did 12 million in the Matrix and 80 almost 85 million for Spider Man. Uh, now up to a billion dollars, folks. We have it. The box office is back. COVID's dead. I think Defeated. we said like Defeated. we were going to see a billion mo- dollar movie for a while. And for a while we thought. One year later. I'm just, I just, I he's bigger than the bo- he's bigger than COVID. I mean, I shocked. I don't know if there's another movie out there that is going to do that. Like. 
barring like Iron Man coming back to the screen, uh, I, I don't know of any movie that's going to do that. Like, na- name like next year. I mean, Thor. Do you think Thor is going to do that? No. 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 Nothing uh, will for a long time. I don't think the Batman does that either. No. I think he, that's got no. enough. Yeah. Um, I, nothing's going to even come. I mean, it should. Batman's going to be, Batman's gonna be the one that's. I think the only has, this is the only one that has a chance if it's good. No, I think it, DCs are just so front loaded always. I, I, Batman's going to put no, up I know, great I'm numbers. Saying, but like, I think it's the only one that has a chance because it's all you know, new franchise, new Batman. It has a chance to do it. But Depends I don't too. We had a lot of pre-orders before Omicron <laughs> for <laughs> Spider-Man, and now, now everyone, not everyone, but it seems like there's a lot of people who know to be I more cautious also, at this point. I, mean, I don't know. How, it's hard to say, but I do. I do think that the rumors of the other Spider-Mans being in it that have definitely helped. Also, oh no, oh, there was a whole. It was almost like a. It's an event. It was like an a event. met, a meta, like yeah, uh, like mm-hmm. campaign almost. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I think that like that boosted it so much, and because people were like, "Oh yeah, I remember watching Spider Man and those things," and they go, "It's like an ARG." Word of mouth. I have to give props to fucking Sony, all the Marvel people, and Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield uh, for keeping this a fucking tight lip. Even though Andrew Garfield was very clearly leaked, (laughs) yeah, very clearly leaked in a video. In in so many interviews, he's like, "Nope, nope, nope." Like absolutely denying, and it's like he doesn't, he's not even being sly. Like, oh, I guess you guys will have to see the movie, find out. Yeah. Like, he doesn't know. He's, nope, he's like, like, no, I'm not in the movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to look ahead to see if there's anything. Uh, Meanwhile, the quarter crew possible. had the leak footage of him and proved it. It's like, hey, this is not a deep fake. There's no way. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, just uh, a, just a note on the Matrix thing because uh, I mentioned it in Discord. Keanu Reeves got paid 15 million dollars up front for fucking Matrix Four, so he made more money. Making this movie than the movie did domestically in its opening weekend. That's fucking pathetic. Do you, yeah. do you guys think... Do you think that uh, Doctor Strange could do it? No. No. Considering it's kind of bringing in some Marvel characters? No. I don't think Wanda is big enough to bring that crowd. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah. I don't know. Even though, it, even it, though we got the full trailer at the end of this movie, it, it, <laughs> yeah, we did. It depends. Um, people were are, were really high on Wanda after WandaVision, um, and Doctor Strange being so prominent in Spider Man helped. And uh, I heard some crazy theory. I don't believe it, but I heard some crazy theory that what if uh, Andrew Garfield recurred his role as Spider-Man in this movie as a guest appearance or whatever like that. Like, he stuck around for the multiverse shenanigans or some shit. Mm. That could be cool. I don't believe it, though, but... Mm. Yeah. I think it'll do well. I think it'll do well, but a billion? Yeah. Nah, it's... It's really hard. I don't... I don't yeah, I think it is. Um, I don't see anything happening. I don't know, but... Uh, let's see. Other news. Squid Game creator is already talking season three with Netflix. Well, yeah. I mean, might as well. Gotta go. Yeah, He's got it now. Gotta go with it. Yeah. Hey, he's got future plans. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, I'm sure that that helps. Like, if he's like, "Hey, do you guys want a third season?" Because I'm writing this shit. He's writing it, so he has to plan, he out, plan like, out. Hey, yeah, like, if plan. you guarantee yeah. three, like, I'll set this plot up to do certain things. But if you're not, yeah. then you know, yeah, don't fuck. Around. I get that. I think because I feel like that's what happened at the end of the first one. It was kind of like I didn't have plans. Oh, we, we're gonna do it. Okay, let's let's get this ending a little bit adjusted here. And I felt like that's why it didn't stick the ending as well as it could have. Well, they left um, the, the like they left the thread dangling there right at the very end. Yeah. I know Corey hated that, but, um, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. other than that, there's really not a lot going on, guys. That's pretty much it for the movie cast. Yeah, it's all it so, is. You know what to expect. Yeah, unfortunately, we yeah. talked a lot about The Matrix in this one, and uh, we apologize for those, but we hope that we saved you. <laughs> well, we hope we saved you. No, no, I'm not apologizing. I'm not apologizing for no, telling people to not them. watch a movie. I'm not apologizing for that. The no, people that should be apologizing are the people that made The Matrix. Yes. Yeah. So... Damn All right, Thomas it's going to wrap up the last movie cast of 2021. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, for the whole year. Uh, write us on geek at gmail.com. You can now watch us on Twitch. We're on there eight, starting 8 o'clock on Tuesday nights. Um, hey, come and watch us stream this, these podcasts. And we're on YouTube the day after. Usually, the parting, depending on Twitch, didn't glitch like last week, unfortunately. Uh, we apologize for the shortcut videos. Um, hopefully, they're fixed this week. But there was a little glitch on we Twitch. We don't have to talk about this. We can just end it. I'm just saying there's a glitch. I just want them to know. Thanks for tuning in. We're out. Happy New Year.